We've all been waiting to hear more about the live-action Cowboy Bebop series. The first images of characters we saw weren't that promising. People behind the project have been attacking fans and have admitted they changed a ton of stuff around, disrespecting the original source material, and now Netflix has released new images in the official intro for the show, and there is just a lot to go over with it. I want to compare it side by side with the original intro because there are a lot of changes changes, namely no ed. But before we get into the topic at hand, if you enjoy the content that I create, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. Follow me on social media like Twitter or mine so that you can see when my content is posted. And if you do really enjoy the videos and the live streams that I create, please consider becoming a Dark Titan via Patreon for just a dollar a month or supporting via memberships. All of the links are in the description description, and of course, I do really appreciate all of the support. Now, of course, a lot of people have been waiting for Cowboy Bebop news, and this is number 17 on trending. A lot of people have a lot of different thoughts on this, and starting off, I think that the music was actually a very good choice. They went with the original music, which to a lot of diehard Cowboy Bebop fans, a lot of people who have liked the franchise for a very long time, I really think that that was the best direction they could have went with. If they had replaced that original iconic music, I think a lot of people would have been very upset with them, and they tried to follow pretty closely with the original intro as well. A lot of the frames are the same, they tried to, you know, replicate a lot of the shots, but it just doesn't come off as well as the original. Starting off, we have John Cho as, of course, Spike. Now, I was originally very hopeful with John Cho. I was thinking that he could have done a good job, but he actually does seem to be a bit too old to play Spike. I was hoping that it was gonna look good, I was gonna wait for the show to come out, or like this, the opening credits, to really see him in action. I think a couple of years doesn't really make a huge difference, but Spike's supposed to be 25 to 27, and John Cho is almost 50 years old. I don't think the Spike outfit or hair looks awful. I really don't. I think that they did pretty good with the outfit and the hair, but he just is not the right actor for the job. You can tell he looks a little bit too old. He just, he doesn't look like he really fits the part of Spike. Now, when I was watching this intro for the first time, I thought to myself, how bad is this going to be? Are they going to pull it off well, or is this going to be a complete and utter joke? And unfortunately, some of the scenes don't come across well. They come across really cheesy and really terrible. Now, that's a big problem when you're taking something that was animated and you're turning it into a live action. I do think that sometimes things don't translate properly. Maybe they should have changed things around a little bit, updated it a tiny, tiny bit. I don't think that you know, them changing something like the way that a character's running will ruin the new live action series at all and disrespect the original anime. But at the same time, I think that they do have to keep specific elements like characters the same. But if we look at this where Spike is running, it just doesn't come across well. It comes across really lame, and the problem is it doesn't line up properly with the music. In the original intro, it lines up when Spike is running with the music very well. I'm not going to play the music because, unfortunately, it will probably get copyright struck, but they did try to replicate this shot, which I do give them credit for, but I think that they could have made it a little bit cooler. I think that they could have updated it a tiny bit more because this is live action. I just feel like it's a little too over-exaggerated. If he was running just a little bit, if the hands were moving a little bit less, I think that it would have came across better. Next, we have Jet Black, and I actually think that his part of the intro is the coolest out of all of the main characters. I think that his comes across pretty well. It's basically him just sitting there. Um, I, I just, I don't see any problems with it. It's not as action-packed as Spike's was. I do think that that one looked pretty decent. And next, we have Faye, which there are so many problems with Faye's portion. I'm just gonna be honest. Faye's portion is the most disappointing here. They tried to go with this cool, badass thing where she's, like, getting ready to kill someone. She's getting ready to throw the knife. It feels really sped up and really, like, rushed. Like, oh, we just need to get her portion over. But in the original intro, of course, it wasn't this at all. It was her actually walking around, showing off the heels, being very sexy. Even though it's just an outline, you can tell that that's definitely Faye's attitude. And we know that they've changed Faye around a lot in the live action. 
action. We know that it's not going to be the same Faye, basically, so it doesn't really fit, in my opinion. We haven't met this version of Faye, this twisted around, changed version of Faye. So she's probably going to be aggressive. She's probably not going to be, you know, sexy at all, feeling herself at all, which was a part of the original Faye character. But this portion of the intro, in my opinion, doesn't really look that good. I really like this next portion because this is basically the same as the animated intro. It does look really cool in my opinion. I don't like this though. He looks like he jumped off of a couch and did a spinning kick. I don't know who decided to do that, but it all just looks really low budget. It looks like a fan intro and sometimes fans can be amazing and create amazing things. But with this, it's not the best case scenario. I really like the callbacks to the original intro. They've got the animated panels and it looks decent at times, but even the poses the actors are in and the stunts where Spike is flipping around, it looks like someone jumped off of a couch and tried to do a spin kick. It just doesn't come across that well. I like the fact that they added a lot of the villains into this. I think that this does give the intro a pretty cool edge, showing off kind of all of the villains before you actually meet them. You've got Vicious in there, you've got Teddy Bomber, you've got Julia. This shot is actually my favorite out of the whole intro. This is Spike and Vicious, and it looks so cool, especially the way that it goes into the next character, which is Ayn. I love Ayn. I'm so glad that they got Ayn right. I mean, it really wasn't that difficult because he's just a corgi, but he's so cute and he's clearly the best character in this live action series. But of course, a giant problem I have with this trailer is Ed. Specifically the fact that there is, of course, no Ed in this trailer. There is no Ed at all, and I think they're pulling a He-Man here. With Netflix's Masters of the Universe, the trailer was all about He-Man because they knew if they showed off the trailers that represented the show and the content in it, no one would watch it. He was in an episode and a half, and that was it. So with this, I think they're trying to keep Ed out of the trailer to avoid backlash. They know there's going to be a fight over Ed, so they've kept her out of all of the marketing, so when we watch it... We go, what the hell is this? But it doesn't matter to Netflix because we've already spent our money on their service and they've already gotten all the funds from us they can take. They don't want any more backlash and they probably know how they present Ed and the show will be a problem. Ed is a 13-year-old girl in the original anime. Throw her in a shirt, some spandex shorts, and give her some goggles. Tell her to act really weird and if anything is different, if they change this character in any other way, they're going to face some major backlash and we've already kind of heard that Ed is supposed to be in it at some point and there are a lot of people saying oh maybe they're saving Ed for season two. Ed is a vital part of Cowboy Bebop. Ed is a main character and they couldn't even put Ed in the intro. Look at this. This is a side by side. This is the Netflix version and this is the original anime intro. Ed is there. It doesn't matter if Ed shows up later in the series, halfway through the series. It doesn't matter if Ed shows up in season five of the live action. Ed is still a main character of Cowboy Bebop and Ed should be in this intro. I am a big fan of the original Cowboy Bebop anime, and I was interested to see what they were going to do with this live action and what they're going to do with Ed since we haven't seen Ed in any marketing or any casting for Ed, but I had made a tweet about this situation, and I said Netflix seriously released the Cowboy Bebop intro thinking no one would notice one of the main characters isn't in it. Stop taking existing franchises and remaking them just to disrespect the original material. It it's really pathetic. Hashtag cowboy beep flop. And right now the tweet has over 600 likes, but I wanted to read some of the comments because of course a lot of people are also very worried about this character, wondering why we haven't seen Ed yet. People are saying things like, not worth watching without her means they won't have the mushroom episode. If they do, won't be the same without Ed. Ed is a vital part of Cowboy Bebop. Ed is a main character. If you look at any of the original promotional material for Cowboy Bebop, Ed was on it. Ed is a main character. And without Ed, it's not going to be the same experience. Someone named Switchpoint said they don't even have the same energy. The Netflix version has them all in action poses, but in the original, each is in a pose that represents their character and style, and it's so true. I just feel like this new opening is a giant miss. They could have done so much better to represent each character, but they decided to go in a very different direction than the original opening.
Like I've said multiple times, I truly hope that this comes out and it's amazing. I hope they add an Ed. I hope the dialogue's as quirky as the original. A lot of the scenes are the same. It has the same vibe as the original anime. But I just don't see this going very well so far. They're missing a main character here. The opening intro isn't as great as the original. And while I see the vision and what they were trying to do, I just don't think they executed it very well. But we're going to have to see what else they remove from the show and what else they tone down. But that's all that I really had to discuss in this video. Let everyone know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to give it a like, share it, and subscribe to the channel. And of course, if you didn't, make sure to give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way. But I will talk to you all again in the next video really soon.